All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how I start my mushroom substrate. So this, this is just, this will be enough soil or substrate for about two tubs, two six quart tubs. So right here I have 325 grams of cocoa choir. And then 100 grams of vermiculite. Two quarts of boiling water. So I'm going to pour that in there. Put the lid on and shake it up. And then I'll let that sit for about an hour and then I'll give it a nice stir and we'll see where it's at. Okay, so now that this is sat, this is probably sat for three hours. I've shaken it up a few times. And there shouldn't be any large chunks of cocoa choir. You should go through and break them up at a time. Now it's nice and cool. I know it's ready and it just has the right amount of moisture in it because when I give it a hard squeeze like that, it just has the smallest bit of drip. Just a little drip. <laughs> and that's how you know it's good. Alright, and so now I'm gonna show you guys how I set up some some tubs. So give me a moment, I'm going to get these bags put into these containers here, and I'll show you what I do. And the reason we do this step, instead of just putting our grain right into a tub with the soil without pasteurizing it, is it'll kill off any bacteria, or sometimes you get little seeds in the cocoa choir that will sprout if you put it right to right into a moist area without pasteurizing it. So that's why it's a good idea to pasteurize it so your substrate will be nice and clean and the mushrooms won't have any trouble colonizing in it. All right, so after this is sat for a few hours, you're going to want to make sure that all of the clumps are broken up inside. And to check to make sure it has enough moisture, you're just going to grab a handful and squeeze it as hard as you can. If you don't see anything dripping out, then that probably means you have a little bit too little moisture and you're going to need to add more. If, if it looks right, then you're ready to move on to the next step of setting up your tubs. So I got some grain jars here. If you look closely, that one is, is reaching. And they're ready to go. I'll get some plastic bags, put in these containers, and we'll show you after that. Alright, so I've put the liner in these two containers, and when I mean, when I say liner, I'm just talking about a regular trash bag. And what I do is I open it up, not all, not to the inside, just, just pull it open and I fit it in there just like that. And then once you put your soil and your grain in these, it's a lot easier to cut the excess liner off. So what I do is I open it up and give it a smell. You're going to want to make sure that there isn't any fermented smell in it. And then I take a clean chopstick and I break it up a little bit. All right. And yeah, a little bit better time shaking it up the rest of the way. And then any other big chunks in there, I'll just break up as I put it in with the substrate. All right. All right. So when I'm putting the soil in, I usually don't show this on camera, but I like to. 
Make sure my hands are nice and clean. You can wear gloves if you want. I've noticed that if you use rubbing alcohol on your hands, uh, it eliminates the need for gloves, in my experience. All right, so what I do is usually start with a handful or two at the bottom. And I get it all spread out to the corners. So it's about a half inch to an inch, all even. And then I take my jar of shaken up grain and I'm going to pour the whole thing in there. Any large chunks like this, I'm just going to break up the rest of the way. Some real hearty, hearty mycelium. And I'm going to try to spread that out nicely. And then I'm going to add a few more large handfuls. And as I do that, I, I kind of massage it into the grain without disrupting the, the bottom layer too much. Okay, so once you have it like that, you're going to want to do one more layer. Uh, you're going to pack it down. Make sure it's nice and packed up against that liner. And the liner will actually shrink with the patty, with the cake. So now I'm going to take just a little bit of dirt there and try to cover up any exposed grain. So that you don't see any exposed grain, but you don't want to cover it too much. It'll just make it take longer to uh, fully colonize if you cover it too much. All right, so that looks about good. You can get a close-up of this right here, where you don't see really any exposed grain. And then I'll go around with a knife or X-Acto knife and cut the excess bag off. All right. All right, and this is what your containers are gonna look like. It ended up making three six quart containers. Uh, I'd put one quart in each container of grain spawn. But yeah, this is what they look like. If your substrate is dry, then I would recommend misting it. If it was wet or a little extra moist, then you should be good to just put the lids on and let it sit. So they sit about 10 days and then you'll see, definitely should see some signs of colonization by 10 days. But after about two weeks, if they're fully colonized, you switch them to fruiting. And I'll have another video on that. Once you move it to fruiting, you're gonna put a different lid on, something more like this. And this allows them to get fresh air exchange. And it also allows the mushrooms to grow a lot taller. All right, keep an eye out for the next video and I'll show you what it looks like when they start to, start to grow.